Hello, welcome back. Remember when I said, the next video I'm gonna make a spicy salmon teriyaki with broccolini and rice. And then I did a tuna salad. We are making the salmon. This is the easiest meal. It's why I make it almost every week. I'm pretty sure John made is sick of it. I don't make teriyaki sauce. It's a brand that I love. Like you should just buy it. It's the greatest thing in the world. They sell it everywhere probably. If not, find it online. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, I'm making my rice. You know how to make rice. I shockingly don't know how to make rice. Like for real, I don't know how to make rice. Like it's the one thing I always mess up. Lola, she's right here. So when you start hearing the babbling, it's cause she's literally right here. So this is a medium grain. This is a medium, what do you call it? Medium grain? Yeah, this is a medium grain rice, whatever. Rice is on the pot. Let's put our hair up for this. Okay, things you're gonna need for this recipe. Salmon, I usually buy it like from Instacart and they send it in like the little brown paper wrap thing and it makes you feel very like whatever. This is the one from Whole Foods, Fresh Atlantic Salmon Filet. Broccoli or broccolini. Again, I did my own grocery shopping this week cause I can do everything. This is it. This is the stuff, hot and spicy Japanese barbecue sauce. This is so good. So. This is all you need. If you wanna make chicken, make it with this. If you wanna make ground turkey, make it with this. I can't think of other meats. Another big thing about this recipe, the air fryer. The air fryer. God, the air fryer is so good. And like, I was so against it cause I was like, this is a bulky appliance. Like we store it up here. Like that's where it goes with the KitchenAid also LOL or microwave that is not plugged in. We don't use the microwave in this house. We don't do it. It's not really because of radiation or anything, but it's, we have no space. Like, air fryer up there. Anyways, the air fryer is the greatest appliance known to man because it cuts down cooking time. And like, as I said before, if it takes 30 minutes or less, I'm making it, you know, like it's the best. <sighs> Okay, if you don't have one, obviously you can make this on the stove top in the oven. I don't like cooking salmon on the stove top because it makes the whole place smell. Ugh. I also like try to make salmon when I'm taking out the trash that day because I don't like, you know, like how things taste good cooked, but the smell of it is gross. Like bananas. I hate the smell of a banana. I eat a banana every morning. Make that make sense. Okay, so I don't have a plastic cutting board. I put a piece of parchment on my wooden board and I'm gonna take the salmon skin side down, up, down. I'm going to cube it. The way I cube it, I cut into strips like this. I'm not cutting all the way in. I grab the end here and then I take it off the skin. I'm not a salmon skin eater. I know some people are. Those people are lunatics. Okay, and now what you're left with is these thick strips of salmon, and then you're just gonna cube them. And then I'm putting them in a bowl. Lola is eating dinner with us and she's not gonna have the spicy salmon teriyaki. I'll just put some salt on hers. This is when my dull knife comes into play. Cause like, you don't need a sharp knife for this shit. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna put some coconut oil spray. Lola's two like little pieces that are going like on teriyaki. I'm gonna put those there because we're gonna dress the other salmon with the teriyaki sauce. But before you do that, kosher salt, give it a good little sprinkle, mix that in. I was told by somebody, my mom, that fish is very porous. So it actually doesn't take that long for it to, um, like absorb whatever you're marinating it in. I'm gonna dump a whole lot of this in here. I know it seems like a lot, but I want all of it to be coated. And then also when I put it in the air fryer, at the end, I'm gonna get that hot sauce, the hot sauce, is that funny? And pour it on top of the whole thing. If you're a saucy gal, just use a little more. Don't be afraid. I'm gonna put this in the fridge for like, honestly, I'm gonna put it in the fridge for five minutes. You don't have to do it for that long. Even if you decided to just put it in there, you can drizzle the sauce over on top after. The infusion of flavor is still gonna be there. Like you literally don't have to wait, but we're gonna do other stuff while it's in there, so. Check in on my rice. 
nice here. It's honestly looking not great. I'm not even, that's not even a joke. It's not looking great. It's still crunchy and it seems like all the water is almost absorbed. So that's not good. Next up, broccoli. If you have a microwave, then this is gonna be faster for you. You just saw my microwave situation. So I do this on the stove top. What I do, broccoli, a little bit of water, and I put it on the stove, covered, and let it steam that way. I mean, call me Kourtney Kardashian. What the hell? So I'm gonna let that go for like three, four minutes. And we're gonna get this stuff out of the fridge. I would say it's been a minute and a half. So sprayed it with coconut oil spray. Some people line it with parchment, but you should be careful if you do that in your air fryer because it, um, can catch on fire. Not that I know that from experience. I'm just putting salt on all those little thingies. Okay, so I'm just gonna place them in here one at a time. Let's speed it up. And now, let me just finish this and then I'm gonna give you so much attention. What do you want? What do you want? Okay, so you have all of this extra whatever. I'm going to drizzle on all the little cubes. Oh, she's saying Dada. Dada. This is what it looks like. Those two are Lola's. This is mom and dad. I'm doing this at 395. Since Lola's little pieces are in there, I'm only gonna do it for 10 minutes and take those out. And then I'm gonna add five more minutes to the rest of them. So broccoli is steamed. Crank the heat up so it gets like a little char on it. I add a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper garlic powder, cayenne. Okay, so we're taking Lola's pieces out. Not that this matters. I'm not showing you how to make baby food, but hers is a little softer. Depending on how you like your salmon, that's probably good for you. It's not good. Bless you. It's not good for me. It's been 10 minutes. I'm adding another five. You want it charred. Speaking of charred, this is where we're at with the broccoli. Some call it burnt. I call it charred. Also, rice is done. The rice doesn't taste bad. Sometimes my rice is crunchy. It's like smoky as all hell in here, huh? Okay, we're giving Lola her food. Join me. Can you imagine if this was your plate? It's coming right now, girl. I oversalt everything. It's like a big issue in this family. Don't get, what is that face? Ours is gonna be better. I'll show you. Salmon has a couple more minutes and we're gonna start plating. We're bowl people. You know some people are plate people and bowl people? We are bowl people. Like, I'll put a burger in a bowl. A burger in a bowl. Burger in a bowl. That's a great name for something. Hot. So I'm ricing the bowls first, then I'm gonna broccoli the bowls, and then I'm gonna salmon the bowls. Salmon is done. Look at that. I'll show you in the light. Could you die? Could you die? Okay, plating time. So we've bowled the rice and we've bowled the broccoli. And you're just gonna bowl the salmon. What are you gonna eat right now? I'm gonna munch on it. Oh. I think I put mine. My... Oh, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Because all the sauce is down here. I'm gonna take the sauce and you drizzle. For a little kicker. Sesame seeds, which to me taste like nothing, but they look nice. Ta-da. Your salmon, ter spicy salmon teriyaki bowl. This one's yours. Grazie. Put it in. You take a bite. So good. Is it good? It's a little, a little over salted, don't you think? A little bit. I over salt everything. Maybe the step where I said like salt the salmon, don't do that part, avoid that part, but it's good. What'd you think? <laughs> and that's all you need to hear. Thank you for watching.